Triple Elvis 777 seven, clocking in, boys and girls. Ladies and gentlemen, the man that needs no introduction, Paul from the freaking park. Alright, Paul from the parks here. We're getting it. Um, I think I'm going to ask Paul a few questions randomly off the phone. We're going to ask Paul some questions today. But before we get started with that, we're going to tell him about our week, uh, what we did last week. Also, I got a new hat. Because Paul has my old hat. I didn't, I'm not going to say he stole it, but Paul has my old hat. So I had to give me a new hat, you know, just to match his drip. Sometimes it's hard to get his uh, his drip in here. What do you got to say to the people? What's the one What's the one thing you want to say to the people today, Paul? Nothing, my <laughs> name is Paul. His answer is, he ain't got nothing to say to the people. All right, so... uh. First, first question. If you can't answer them, just tell me. You know, we, we can move on to the next one. It says, uh, what's your favorite uh, animal? Paul, what's your favorite animal? We're going to start off with the low. Mm. Oh, yeah. Well, why are you thinking that? Let me say something real quick. If you watched our last video, he had a hard time getting that thing lit and started. Well, now I think he's got a formula. He's packing fat tobacco, and he's making it happen. You can see that it's... uh. Definitely a lot more than last time. And he's not struggling. He did it all on his own like a big boy with his wind chime in his pipe. He got rid of the filter where you put your regular pipe and put a wind chime in there. That's what you do when you're in the park. You inter uh, what? You uh, improvise. Yeah. Favorite animal, what you got? Uh, well, I don't know. Have I? Okay, well, since My you favorite don't... animal is like a... I don't know whether it's a bulldog or... Well, so dog. You, um, you know that um, song Bad Bad Leeway Brown, Junkyard Dog. I don't know if that's a bulldog or what in that. That's your answer, Bulldog? I like that song, Bad Bad Leeway Brown. So I know what you're talking about. Bad Bad, bad, bad Leeway Brown. Junkyard Dog, meaner, than, than, a, meaner, yeah, meaner, than, a, meaner a, than a walking car or whatever a walking uh, car is. Uh, something, something frog, I think, too. I don't remember. It's been a while. If I had to pick up my favorite animal, I know you didn't ask because you probably don't care, and neither do the people. But uh, I think I like American buffalo, like you know them, Harry. You know them, Harry Bison. Yeah. I like them. That that would probably be one. But I'm leaning towards a beaver, or an otter because I like those animals too. I don't know why. It's all about beavers and otters. You know what I mean? Bison. That's what that's what Ted Turner got into the bison for the meat to cook, it was man. Ted Turner. Yeah. Ain't it Time Time Warner? He was in. Time Warner, Cable Company. You know more than I do. I don't know who that is. You don't watch Cable back in the day? No. Hmm. I, I never was like a TV. I was never like really, you know, we watched the movies back in the day, but v, uh, VHS has kind of ended during my reign. But then we went through the VHSs. We went through uh, CDs. We went through all that. Now we're in the digital world. we got Instagram, Twitter, Google+, Plus, all that stuff. Well, yeah, let's talk about that. When, we, when he got them cigars... Yeah, that was mm, hey, right. good looking, and I was like, I I knew the song. I said was that the original? Who sings Te that? Tex Ritter, and I, and I think he has a son that's. He sounds like Hank Williams, doesn't he? Sound like old Hank Williams or no? Lots of songs sound like it. Okay, I think so because I I didn't know if I was crazy or not, but I mean I'm not from the generation, but I just know that I've heard I've heard bits and pieces here and there. You know what I mean? Are you ready for another question? Because I got a few right here. You ever chase down an ice cream truck as an adult? Uh-uh. You ain't never chased an ice cream truck. What have you chased? I know you've chased a lot of things. I've seen you in, in action. Yeah, I've, uh, yeah, I've, yeah I've, I've chased one down whenever I got some. A um, friend of mine one time on one, and I ended up. Mine, we chased it down. They used to drive around our, our neighborhood, the ice cream truck. Yeah, they don't do it. Didn't you say that you helped somebody get something from Hustler Hollywood or Adam and Eve or something like that? They were too scared to go into Adam and Eve and you got it for them? No, you said Hustler Adam and Eve, too, oh, but there was Hustler first. What, them in the McStin pill. Did he eat some friggin' Viagra? That's pretty much what you're talking about. Some, was it a young person asking you? Yeah. <laughs> So how did that go about? He was just like, hey, Paul, can you help me out? I got to get some, some Viagra. Yeah. What, was he not old enough? 
Hold on, that, hold on. This might this might make sense. Was it? No, just, he was scared. They're just too scared of the clerk. Tell you what was? No, no, don't say the name. All right. Just I'm just saying. How did the situation go? Did he just come up to you and be like, "Hey"? Uh, no, I, I guess he was scared at the time. Even then, I went I went in and bought him one time, but I went in there with his with his um girlfriend one time. Not that was um hustler. I'm so confused. I'm saying I, I just don't understand how they got the. Uh, they're scared to go up to the clerk, but they're not scared to ask you. No, it wasn't. <laughs> that's kind of that's kind of wild, huh? What would you do right now if you had five million dollars? <laughs> Let's hear it. Well, let's go on. Go on. It. Five just, million. Five million. Yeah, I'm gonna quit. I think I clogged up because I've been smoking, man. I got a while I gotta unclog it. Um. Five million. First of all, I said when that old mall closed, I said I wish I'd had about three million, maybe about five million. I said that old mall. I'm like that would make a heck of a heck of a thing for kids instead of riding to Jacksonville. All the kids in the neighborhood that they like to spend late night. I was like food places, bowling alley, indoor car thing, maybe one of them things like Velocity. Few food shops and all. Would the kids like to favor some of them growing up, like so, ten so, years old? So if I had about yeah, three million, uh, how would you like to have an indoor bowling alley, pool tech, pool thing, something for the younger kids and the older kids? Like, don't that other mall up here we went to, the, that one time Orange Park or whatever, the one that had the play port with the kids. You remember with the swing sets and all and the bouncy houses? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. For that, so you have that for the little kids because. Traffic coming up here to Jacksonville sometimes on 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 Friday nights and all when they have kids and all for the weekends it's too much traffic, man. You be by the time you get left or say Augustine and came up here with the traffic, it'd, it'd be too late then. Yeah, they'd be done tired out or sweet. So pretty much what you're saying is you wouldn't even spend it on you. No, I'd help the people out. I'd help the community. That's what most of these people do. All these stories. I'm saying you, the, though. If you had $5 million, what would you get? And what would you want? Well, if I had... What if I had... What if I could have bought that for about um, $3 million? I, I'd get some investors in it. To, or like they do at the race cars, how they have like their logos on them. I'd get some investors that said it was a pretty good idea and have them chip in. I'd like buy... Spend $3 million for the property. Have the mother investors like have their favorite things in there, like the restaurants and all, help out the community. The only thing I see a good idea, like these stars, these rappers, country singers, they help the community out. Yeah. Like across the water in Ethiopia. Yeah, yeah, Africa but they also all, spend money on their own mansion and stuff like that. You wouldn't get yourself a mansion. Well, that's what I'm saying. I'm saying I take the I, three <laughs> oh, million yeah. by the property, get the investors to throw in their money. I'd have two million. Heck, I could probably go go to the Bahamas or something. Like the way the market is these days, and find me a nice place like the one that Virgin Airlines. Remember that one or whatever? Just place some burned down or got wiped out one time. One of them, I think a storm or something came to and ruined everything. Like that country music singer up there in Tennessee. Tennessee didn't one of them have a fire and burned up everything in this house. What was it, the mm. Tracy Lawrence or Tracy Atkins or something? Another place burned up there sure. one time. I'm not sure. Would you live in Florida still, or would you go out of state? Would you live out of country? I had to. I'm not afraid to fly. I ain't. I'm saying you have five million. Would you would you stay here? Or would you live somewhere else? What what would you do? Well, I, well, I'd have a place. I'd have a place here. Jeez, Jesus, if I bought some island on the Bahamas, dang man, I'd be. Mm, the, Go let loose for a while, maybe two weeks or a month. That just invite some friends that like the party, drink, yeah, have fun. Okay, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. So you're saying going like a cruise or something? Yeah, cruise. I ain't never been on one. I thought about one going on to the going like a four day, three night yeah. thing to the Bahamas. Man, they got some good clubs up there. With t shirt contests, senior <laughs> frogs, and all them up in the place. I paid them off. Hey, how about it, man? I party once in a while. Well, they got them. Uh, they got them singles cruises where everybody just like a single. They go on there. And... Yeah, no, man. I also ain't never been on one of them um, booze cruises. Get 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 some, get some people better with a group. Like, yeah, yeah. Go. Well, I mean, when you get there, you meet the group. Yeah, I know, but hey, you know? hey, you you go with a group. The, it's like that. It's like that one. Going... It's like that one time we went out and that girl took your hat. Remember that? <laughs> 
oh man, I never forget that girl, man. You, <laughs> the, that time you you said I spilled her drink, and you said I drank her drink. No, I didn't say you spilled it. I said you drank it. And you didn't no, I did it. not. I drank oh, a little bit God. of it. It was gone. A little bit of all she, of it. She drank it. I, I never forget that girl, Did man. she tell you that you could have it? That red dress. That girl, she laughed. Remember, she was singing with the band. Yeah. Oh, yeah, by the way, that waitress that done it, man. That was a nice waitress. I seen that lady dancing with what was that lady that kept on um, dropping her purse and all and all, oh, all yeah. over the place. That I think the, she was that was the queen. Yeah, I, I know, but yeah. then I, I helped her out. But then I don't know. I seen them up there. And she her, dropped her. She dropped her jacket about forty times. No, she didn't. She dropped it once. She dropped her oh. chair and all. I kept yeah. picking up. She was a little too gone, huh? No, nah, she wasn't too gone. She was nice, and I, I, I know I seen that lady in St. Augustine. I think she has some some food trucks. She had like some, some some of them food trucks like at that we seen at that flea market. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, her she was nice. I know I seen her. She was she looked a little different then because she wasn't in there. She was in a, a dress or something. Another child, and man, she was like, yeah. yeah, she was good looking. I liked her. That song, Better Days, whoever sung that Better Days, it was that Justin Bradley, whoever told that song to sing Better Days. Hmm. I ain't been to that bar yet, man. In three we went to. Oh, yeah, you're talking fun. about the cigar bar, huh? Yeah. The cigar bar was fun. Yeah, that one. And you know what? I know what kind of mixture she had. I don't know what kind of alcohol she had on. One time I bought a drumstick at, at Circle K. I mixed a drumstick in, in, in with my coffee. Tasted like that with a hint of something like that. I had or what in it, but it was a good, it was a good combination. So I don't know. Oh. Yeah, I never get it when she jumped on top of that guy. We thought that guy was her husband. On that was her neighbor. Remember? Yeah, he, he didn't want her on him. <laughs> you know, I got her over there. She, I said, uh, I said, I didn't know they let young girls like you in the club. Young girls, I don't know. <laughs> yeah, right. That's all. That's why I said to her. She came out with us. She young, was like thirty-seven. <laughs> yeah, I know, young girl, man. Yeah, I know, but I mean, you know. Young, well, she was a little older. She's older than you. I know she is. Young. I know she is, but you know, I know man. something nice. They like hearing that sometimes. Yeah, I mean, hey, we didn't tell them that we took down the fence too. That's that's yeah, that's what we did. We got the oh, started. Really? Did, did you have I had a pause that remember it went we had off? Some technical you know, difficulty. Technical, uh, technical, technical difficulties. Yeah, 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 all right, what about this one? Uh, another question. Have you ever oh, seen yeah, that? Oh, yeah, that other I did not Take spill that drink, technically. It did. I didn't say you spilled it. You drank it. You drank her drink. No, no, but then when I spilled that other one, it was a thing how you sat in be in between that. If you all sat where I was sitting at, my legs wouldn't stretch. Remember, I had to move one of them four chairs over there on the other side of that smoke thing. If I was sitting where you were sitting, I wouldn't have spilled it because I wouldn't have had to stretch out my legs. I had to go like this. I have longer legs than you. I'm just saying. I'm taller than you. I'm just saying. I, I watched you chug that coffee thing. It was like a coffee, like martini. I don't know what that was. What? I know it was delicious. I, I bet it was. I mean, the it first time free. I've had a little bit. I went to Arnold's. It was one free. Time free is always and, delicious. And 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 I'm finished up one. I drank like, bought like this friend like three, three mixed drinks, martinis or something. It was good. We're gonna have yeah. a fire. That's what we're fixing to do too. We're just hanging out, having enjoying our Friday. Sorry to cut you off. I got one more question for you. What? You ever seen a ghost? Ghost. It's it's like almost you know yeah I, mean? I, I I like that country music song um ghost story that's my favorite is that who is that Taylor Swift I, I don't is that know a girl is a girl sings that yeah she yeah let me be your ghost story that's what I'm tend to a lot somebody changed my radio station so for a while I've been I don't know none of the songs on that one but the I, I know ghost. the country one like that guy oh yeah let's get back to the um Tex Ritter thing. Oh, um, okay. I think I don't know, but I think you get back to whatever you want to get back to, Paul. Paul from the park. Yeah, he. I think he's related uh, to um, John Ritter, the one that played on Three's Company, that hot blonde chick in the bathing suit with Three's Company. On Three's Company, I'm a, like the old song. Yeah. Somebody in the comments might know. What? Somebody in the comments. The comments is where they message and talk to us. Yeah, I know where they comment. Okay. I'm, I'm sure. I can tell that guy. I know, they might know, though. Old school. Yeah, uh, so do, have you seen a ghost? Or are you just listen to the song? No. Did, have you ever seen a ghost in real life? No. I watched some of them ghost um, shows one time. You know that, um, that motel they had down there at, at the end of the railroad tracks at the end of the 16th? That motel over there, they had some 
paranormal activity through it one time. They had some ghost hunters there. What about the tour, the ghost tour? You ever seen anything down there? No, I ain't, I ain't been out down there in a while. I don't know if they ever um, proved the ghost or not. I don't know either. I know that, like, well, there, there's a lot of history from, like, 1640, 1640s? 1640s, yeah. Oh, yeah, 1640s. If you were on death row, what would your last meal be? Mm. Yeah, don't you dare say a Pop-Tart or something. Pop-Tart, no Pop-Tart. Your last meal on death row, that's that's kind of, that's rough. That's a rough Jeez. one. Jeez. Don't know be, they make steaks, but, man, I have a steak <laughs> about, <laughs> I have, like, a... If they cut up a steak like six, about six inches thick, man, with a whole, whole bowl of um, old big old bowl of um, mashed mashed potatoes, some some macaroni and cheese. That's how you'd go out. And, and some and some gravy and a big old <laughs> and a, and a big old tall thing of some. Bud Light to, wa to wash it down. Oh, get a little beer in there, Bud too. Light. Yeah, beer. Get a little yeah, beer in there. Beer. I, need, I need a cup about probably maybe Show the one, camera, because I can't maybe, see you. I'd have, a, I'd have at least That's a how big of a beer he needs. <laughs> Shoot, have that. You might, you might want the shot after that. That's a barrel. That's a barrel of beer, son. One, one time a friend of mine had this um, coffee cup planer. It was like this It was like this big around. I'm like It was a planer. I was like, geez, I have a coffee cup about that tall that big around I'm full of that I'd have to have a straw he used to get a straw I'd just take a hose I'd just take a, ho a hose like about that big around from like a like a rubber hose like that big around or something from the drink machine or something other and just suck it straight through it if we had to go if me and you had to run off and live in a different country what country would you pick oh, like we had to get up and go today and never come back. That's a rough one, huh? We just get oh, like we're we're running from the law, we're running from the cops, because you were in somebody's yard again. <laughs> running from the cops. Yeah, yeah. Because you know they're gonna lock you up. You go back in somebody's yard. No, no well, <laughs> yeah. Well, well, they would technically. They say I've been in people's yards, but I haven't. So, yeah. Government conspiracy, huh? Yeah. So, what country would you go to? I'd have to go somewhere where they where they have a good food because they good lord I love I love to eat so I'd, I I can live off the land if yeah, I have yeah. somebody that can go have some good stuff to them to grow. I like South American countries. Florida's kind of a South American. Yeah, yeah, maybe S something maybe where they have a little uh, also where they have their own uh, like um stress relaxer mess and weed. They got weed, weed everywhere. Huh? Yeah. <laughs> they probably, got, yeah. probably got the devil's lettuce in there, man. <laughs> Up there, yeah. I, Dude, well, Mexico definitely got it. Yeah, I know. Mexico could be nice in certain areas. Some some areas could be dangerous. It just depends. Yeah. Well, it would be hard because we don't speak Spanish. We would need a tour guide. If we had to run from the cops today, we would need a tour, tour guide. guide. How are we going to have a tour guide? No, no. You got a phone. These days, they have that Spanish. They have that, what is that, bubble or bubble? They have that. Thing that speaks different language. Oh, Google, uh, Google Translator. Yeah, they've got one. One time they have, um, it's like, um, it's like this thing they've got, like, you know, them, like, roller dexes that now they have, I think they have one of them things, like, that does the phone numbers and all, stores phone numbers. They have one that I think I've seen the, some kind of machine that has, like, 40 different languages or something, has an old. Like a phone, it's like a translator machine. Yeah, my, mine does it. You go on Google uh, Translate. No, it ain't a Google. It's like a regular thing. You I know, know, I know. There's a th there's an app, too. But uh, I know my buddy, he's got a girl that he's, like, pretty much settling down with. And they talk on that thing all the time. She's from, uh, she's actually from China. China, yeah, but, yeah, they do it's have over, it. Huh? It, it. Yeah, they do have one. Yeah. Can you imagine? It's like a phone, but it's like a yeah, tablet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know, like I know what you're talking about. It's got, like, a glass and then... You yeah. talk to it and it'll speak and all that stuff. Yeah, it speaks. Do penguins have knees? No, well, the penguin <laughs> have a have a knee. The, the old New York thing. I like the penguin, man. I like the old Batman movies. Penguin. Oh yeah, you're talking about the the, 
the villain. I was yeah, talking about the actual yeah, but there was, yeah, he has knees, but there was a, a penguin doll. Why do you have knees, man? The, they have short legs like that. Yeah. Penguins are like in, a, are like in Alaska and stuff like that. I'd like to go visit. I'd like to see them. Would you go to Antarctica? You know Antarctica's freezing. Yeah. To, he was like, the, yeah, that keep my beer cold for a long time. Sam, <laughs> keep your beer ice, ice cold. Yeah, igloo, man. I, you, your beer I can build, be I can build an igloo. I can build a custom thing like like the moment oh, blocks and build, build my own igloo. I build an yeah. igloo mansion. Your beer would be a glacier. Yeah. That's why stuff. Try to think, uh, if you could own, like if you could own like a ranch, what animals would you have on your ranch? Like, you know, uh, we watch from the ranch. You like the ranch. So what kind of animals would you have um, on your ranch? Oh, man, there's so Um, first of all, I have some, um, some, um, pigs. Um. Do you like pigs? Yeah, I'd have them. Mm -hmm. I'd have some, I'd have some ducks. I, I like ducks. The, the mallard ducks that swim. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then I would have, mm, If, uh, yeah, I have some. I have, definitely have some guineas and some and some chickens to have um, eggs with. Plenty of plenty of wood where I can build me build yeah. me a fire to cook on. Egg, I can yeah. build one of them. Every time. If if animals were vegetarians, uh, what, uh, no, listen. If animals, if all the animals were vegetarians, which one would you have as a pet? Vegetarian. That means you can have pretty much any animal as a pet. So, if animals were vegetarians, which one would you have as a pet? I. I I have no clue. I don't know which animals I'm thinking, are, they, are vegetarians. Better. No, I'm saying like like a tiger. You can, like you know what I mean. Like it wouldn't eat you ever. You know what I mean? Like a right here. Yeah, yeah, I eat it. I, I, what are you gonna eat it? You're gonna eat, the tiger. <laughs> You're gonna eat it. Why would you eat the tiger? I said you got it as a pet. <laughs> okay, as a pet. Yeah. I'm, I'm saying. All right, all right, here. Let me put a better better situation or better uh, scenario. If 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 all the animals could not kill you and they wouldn't try to eat you or anything like that, which one would you keep as a pet? Which one would you have as a pet? Uh, and it wasn't threatening at all. You know what I mean? Which animal I have as a pet? I think I'd have a hyena. Oh. Some of the hyenas, I like them. They look kind of ugly, but I think I'd have a hyena. A hyena? Yeah. Yeah. Like a pet, like a like a it's like a big dog kind, right? Like a hyena. Yeah. They laugh too. I might have three of them. They might laugh in a pack. As long as they don't eat me. Like a laughing hyena. Yeah. I don't want. I don't want one that's gonna try to eat me though. So if it's a vegetarian or if it was peaceful, I would like a hyena. And I don't want it to hurt anybody else either. That's another problem. You'd have. You, well, you'd have to. Well, you'd have to get it when it was little and um, train it. Maybe yeah, I'd say without all that. I'd say if it, if it was just if they were just peaceful all together and they weren't gonna hurt anybody. You know what I mean? Like especially. Any animal. Like you can have a bear. You know what I mean? Like anything. I'm just saying, like, what animal would you pick, you know, if it couldn't hurt anybody? And it wouldn't hurt anybody. I'd see you riding up on an elephant or something. I'd, be, I'd come to your house, you'd be riding an elephant. No, I, I don't know. I'd have to say an ant. An ant? No, an animal. <laughs> um, uh, how about, um, I don't know, how, how, about, how about a camel? You can ride Yeah, well, it. camels aren't even mean, but yeah, you can get a camel, yeah. Yeah, they ain't mean. Like I said, yeah. you said it wouldn't be mean. A yeah, camel, yeah. You, you can ride it. it, it I can see a, you having a camel. It, 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 it has a hump. They have one. Some of them have <laughs> It does have a hump. Some of them have two humps. Some of them have two humps. We can ride in the middle of it. You know, uh. That, that way, if it got scared, you can, like, rest on the, you lay know back on the hump like this. That that makes sense because. You like riding your bike around yeah. and going far. Well, that camel will probably will yeah. go, go and, as and far that, as you take it. And, that camel will go as and, far and as you take it. In the desert, lucky you can find yeah. water. And plus, a camel would eat the plants around it. There's any plants because some plants like to produce some yeah. water and have them um, liquid in them, like outdoor plants. I wonder if you can have a camel here. You probably got to get some license, but imagine like seeing somebody walking down the road with their camel. <laughs> walking, walking down the road with a camel. Well, I mean, back in the well, day, you, walk, you can ride. You, you can ride. Then, That's what I mean. Riding down. Imagine somebody like going down the highway and seeing some guy on the side of the road with his camel. I mean, you could do that technically, right? People ride horses on the side of the road. Yeah. Well, speaking about horses, one time back in the 
time, somebody tried to ride a horse one time in, in, the, in the McDonald's one night. I don't think they got served or not. Can you imagine well, I've, seen, the I've seen people. Well, the thing is, it's take a dump in the parking lot. That'd be rough. But people walk through the drive thru sometimes. Yeah, no, but though you can't go on your bike. I went on my bike one time. Yeah, and they yeah, said yeah, I yeah. needed an exact chain. What is it like? I'm going to ride my bicycle and and rob and stick a gun up there on a bicycle. Say, give me all your money through the window, and then ride off. They're crazy. They're crazy for that. Uh, if you had a uh, genie. He was gonna give you three wishes. What would they be? Uh, oh, you don't like that one? Huh? Yeah, I three love, wishes. I love that show. I Jimmy Genie. Uh, there you go. Cor- yeah, Cor- Cor- Colonel Nelson that found out when in in the bottle. Yeah, I like that one. Yeah, genie. Three wishes. Mm. That's that's hard because you know genie genie's trick you. You know, so they ask for something and they'll like trick you. But I'm not talking about with the tricks. Just what will your three wishes be? Well, first of all, I be want to be the uh, be one of the richest guys alive, and then one the one of them would be be um like live like um be able to live forever. Okay. Yeah. That's two down the road. <laughs> So you got richest guy alive and be able to live forever. You don't need anything else? Well. I mean, those aren't bad, though. I'm not going to lie. Those aren't bad. Yeah, I have to. Man, the third one would be harder. If you're watching, comment what your three wishes will be. Uh, any of these questions, answer them down in the comments. I kind of want to see what people got to say. Yeah. But... No, yeah, that is a uh, third one would be hard. Well, maybe uh, maybe your whole family's secure. I don't know. What? So maybe you wish that your whole family is like safe and secure or something. Yeah, that would. Yeah, that would be. Oh. I mean, I'm not trying to tell you what your third wish is. You tell me. It'd be hard. Paul got a lot of new shirts. We didn't bring that up, but Paul's got. Uh, he bought himself twenty shirts. So uh, that's a lot of shirts. Yeah, that, now I'm probably gonna have to. Buy some more uh, different pants to match some of them. Yeah, that ain't no problem. We got plenty of time, right? Oh. Plenty of time. I think we're going to cut it, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. We had fun. We're yeah. just chopping it up on a Friday, right? Yeah. And we're fixing to have us a big old bonfire. Mm. And Paul's going to be drinking him a barrel of beer, right? Yeah, I got I don't know how many of them I got. All right, ladies yeah, and gentlemen. Yeah. Catch you next time.